how do tree rings mm -hmm. tell us about the trees and the climate? And you've got some good examples of that. Let's go take Let's a look. Let's try that, okay? That's the, that's the next stop, you bet. Mm -hmm. George, what kind of tree is this? This is a green ash. A big green ash tree. And how old is it? This tree, we counted the rings on this tree, and it goes back to 1890. That makes it 110 years. So the growth in here was 110 years 110 ago. 110 years ago. And what does this tree tell us about our climate over that 110 years? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the tree tells us uh, some things uh, about how it grew. Here is the uh, current years, 2000, 99, 98, and they were, they were so, sort of dry. We jump back to this next group of very tight rings, and that's the 80s. The early 80s were very dry. We had a pretty bad fire season uh, a couple of years in the, in the 80s. We drop back about 30 rings. We drop back to the 50s, and you can see how tight the rings are here. We had a horrific drought in the 50s. We had a lot of tree mortality in the forest, and it was a real nasty dry spell. We go back another 20 years or so, and we bounce back into the Dust Bowl days of the 30s. There's a series of tight rings here that the tree is telling us it, it, it suffered, but it, it survived. Then going back further, another, another 25 or 30 years, there are some very tight rings right around the turn of the century. About 1900 um, or so, 1905, there were some really dry years back then. So the tree is telling us of cycles of, of drought and, and dry spells. 